salutations. Welcome to my amazing show. Once again, I'm your host, the great and mighty Mr. Perez, and today I will be finishing up Ghost Trick Phantom Detective once and for all. And I'm excited to see how all, how this all wraps up, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, manual. Okay, chapter 14. 1.28 p.m. p.m. 1.28 a.m.? I don't know. Tempsic Park decided that little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. And the place where an important piece of evidence the music box was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least he isn't dead. For once. <laughs> but what did she find? Huh? What's he doing here? La la la, let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world would not end if the food delivery is a little late. La la la. A little late? It's already ice cold. There we go. A love letter. Okay. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your detective expression, I gather you didn't find what you were looking for. Right. I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There. In the grass. You'd better see for yourself. Oh. It looks like a dead body. P probably because it is. I nearly died when I saw it. Good thing she didn't. And I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope. I suppose not. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The rocks are the gods! You there! You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you! Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in! I urge you to pursue it thoroughly, examine it in detail! Uh, never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name! My name? Uh... What does the name matter, when there are more important things to worry about? Okay... Come now, and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Uh... Look, I don't have time to get involved with your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Okay. And so I've made up my mind. I was off to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does that have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? 
You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet, in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Oh. I'm coming. Just hold on. I'll be right there. I've located the target beauty. A girl at the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Oh. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nap her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Eh, won't you come with me? Eek! Oh, gods! What do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. But what? Eh. Huh? <laughs> hmm. That's not normal. What in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino. M Mino? Mino the mascot, the symbol of Temsic Park. <sighs> Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes. Yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the Gods. That power of the Gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes. Yes, precisely. That is called the Mischief of the Gods. Was it the Mischief of the Gods or was it a ghost trick? It's probably a ghost trick. But nah. It couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Look at that. There's another flame besides mine. Oh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on, your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Um, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Hmm. Maybe I better try talking to this person. What the? The person with much greater powers than me? It's... It's... You? Hey! Cecil! Oh my, it's... Missile! You look well, uh, being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? I don't know, uh, weird. Anyway. Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. After Miss Camilla went out and you left. Oh no, he broke his head, didn't he? I worked like crazy to make my own path, and I did it! Oh no, he... He opened the door. Okay. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. Oh boy. And then, here at the Spitz Park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it. 
I barked. You bet I did. And I would run after her too. Oh no! And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crush under that big scary lump. Oh, oh, oh! What have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart. And then? I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And then I remember what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. You bet I did. Yes, my dear. I'll ever so gently nab you and come right back to your side. <laughs> Now's my chance, I thought. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know. It looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw towards the core. Ooh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Uh... Well, I can't believe it. How, how could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And so then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside. Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sizzle. You can't? Then how did you... Uh, uh, I didn't know what to do. Then, I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core, too. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things. But apparently, I can swap them. As long as... As long as these two things that have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same space? Go ahead and try it. Press swap. Huh? Th that's incredible. And so... And so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But, what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head or... I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap that missile? I couldn't. I could stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sizzle. But I just couldn't reach. Ah, but this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. So that's how you just got smooshed. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death if I do say so myself. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? 
I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Not again. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So, we're gonna drop that Mino thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again, to four minutes before. Alright, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you swap Mino with that leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball, rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to try my use my swap trick, just press the right trigger. That way, you'll be able to control me. And then if you press the right trigger, control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it. Together we can stop Mina from hurting anybody. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like I need to get here. Okay, let me, let me go here for now. Uh, no, it's not what I wanted. Okay, yeah. There he comes. Swap. right now. Look at this funny flattened ball. It's the same seed as that horrible Mino. But it's too far to swap him here. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. We have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I'd say. 
There must be something we can do. Maybe there is. Oh, that was so close. If it hit the ball, it could have knocked it down. Is that all this umbrella can be used for? For knocking the rugby ball down? Get my powers, and don't forget about my recklessness of youth. Yeah, okay. I need to make sure that opens up. Okay, let's do... Uh, no. Let's go here. Okay. Okay, yeah. You have to find a way to get closer. And I'm actually spin it faster. Okay, get here. Aha! Let's see. Get that basketball. Swap. liking the game so far oh I, i'm actually liking it all i'm liking it a lot black toad might be so much fun there we moved the ball what do you think missile hmm with the ball there i think i could do it in just a few seconds you swap mino with the leaf and then from there you could swap mino one more time the final moment is near missile are you ready? You bet! Hmm. Oh, and, uh, did that reach? Thank you. 
Oh, okay, I gotta get ready. Let me see. There we go. Okay, watch me, Sizzle. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mino with that ball. Yeah. Okay, he's just knocked out now. There. How's that? Oh, my head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Yes, we did. Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? Oh, I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Hmm. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. <gasps> Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish- don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. <laughs> You're right. Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present. <clears throat> and so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. Odd. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No. You did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright. After all... After all, she has me! Missile, are you in there? Miss Lin, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile. E oh no, Missile! Miss Lin! Oh. You know, I'm gonna leave it up to Missile. It kind of looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. You tell me about it. Ooh! I have something to give you! Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, dip, uh, here we go. My apologies. This is for you. Oh. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Oh, not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Uh, 
What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Sure. Mm. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. I mean, I don't really have a tongue. <laughs> Excuse me, but are you... No. It couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Oh! Are you talking about... Hold on. What are you talking about? Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years ago from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is? It could just be coincidence. But apparently, you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? About what happened ten years ago? Yes! Yes, of course! I was actually about to do just that. What's this rock of the gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us! Oh, you mean, uh, Mino? Oh, no. Missile. Wait a minute. You say G O D S, but do you mean D O G S? Of course not. Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous war games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the Gods, Temsic Park. The Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been there for these ten years. Ever since that day it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So this rock you've been talking about... Is a meteorite? Precisely! It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. it, it me? That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! Now just come down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. Whoa. When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments, and then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. Huh. How about that? The judgment of the gods was brought down on that park that day. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my. I can't believe it! The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temsic, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. I... I never knew about this Temsic. I always thought Detective, Detective Jop was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you would remember. 
But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lin. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news, and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Tensik after the name of this park that it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park. The Rock of the Gods. That is my mission. I see. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was that was Lin wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that. But Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Tempsic thing. And if he knew... And the man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The, rock of the, the rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples on a pond and when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the, break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lin. I knew you would. Once everything has been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanel, right? I don't suppose you ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then. Now then. Let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. <laughs> ha! See? He calls that a knack? Looks more like brute strength to me. Here you are. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built that her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind of magician's use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camilla was watching from a hiding place. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I think this is supposed to be a child. Uh, she saw the flame of the gun. Something that wasn't supposed to happen. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you move the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so was Justice Minister. I must call off the execution at this point. <laughs> I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jout. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. 
Thank you, Lin. In those eyes of yours, I see the guys of that little girl from ten years ago. Sizzle. If you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now. Without ever knowing, have without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have fi finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my lo own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Sister told me all about it, Detective Child. About the manipulator. Yes. And it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister too. Oh! Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Oh. Cecil, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me too? Hmm? Oh. What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You will manipulate it too! There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But... Who is it? And why did they do it? That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? But that's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it. See, Detective Job? No. I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jout about it. Told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I never even heard of the place. And what's more, I never told a single soul about that contraption. You... haven't? That old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Detective Zhao, you must have heard this name before. Temsik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. <clears throat> so you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Zhao, you told me that, ten years ago, the person who was killed and who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite. <sighs> I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. Really now? I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You were trying to save me! Lin. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? No, I'm confused. On that day, 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Uh, another place? Yes. In the police headquarters interrogation room, the worst sort of incident, a suspect who was being questioned escaped. Well. 
I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, well I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there! I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him. Bad. That warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lin. It's all my fault. Take the child. All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lin. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way. I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I've done. went down the wrong throat. Hmm. Wrong hole, I mean. Okay. I painted pictures in my cell. Nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I've met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait. The final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Oh. Wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face! Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. The face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole, of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But, but hold on, Detective Child. That can't be true. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sissel. What? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I... I... Huh? <clears throat> okay. Mr. Minister! Inspector Cabanella! Where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once you confirm it to carry it out, we release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted? Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Ugh. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on? Inspector Cabanella! The Rock of the Gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow, continues to grow ever longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? 
I'm even further from knowing that when I even started, than when I started. Hmm. That was a good twist. Alright, let's see. What happens next? Chapter 15, 12.55 a.m. Ten years ago, a man named Sizzle took a little girl named Lin hostage, and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. Tonight, a man named Sizzle met a detective named Lim at a junkyard on the edge of town, and then was killed by a bullet. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. see myself there you are commander sif finally sissel where have you been my good man we've been looking everywhere for you had a little unfinished business to take care of didn't think it would take this long what about your people? They sure went out of the way to mess me up. I say, I believe, I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. Right, what right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sizzle. Dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Hmm, yes. We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a little report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. And he still likes smacking that thing, doesn't he? Hmm. Hmm, yes. We're very close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service till we, until we arrive, sir. Very well. That's a submarine. Well, no, it's a submarine. Holy shit. Okay. Nice try, Inspector Cabanella. But you can never stop me. Be seeing you. See ya, sucker. So, that submarine guy and his people have a deal going on with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Anyway, there's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I'd better talk to him. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Boy, still unconscious, eh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. But if that's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. So let's go find those answers. Two 
250 Aeon. The superintendent's office. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for a call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. It gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. <sighs> What's the matter? Are those broken burns smart a little? What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel... Alive? Why... Are you doing this? No. Is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life. Or have you forgotten that? Wrong! I was murdered by all of you. Detective Zhao, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lin, that girl who was right there when I was running. Lin? She was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. You were so proud of your spotless record. And my case was on the was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two pe only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Zhao. <sighs> I bet tonight's execution will be a quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who will know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. <sighs> I've got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Gods! Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Temsik. Revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Hey, man. Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella? He's awake. My head is spinning, baby. Am I to understand? That Cabanella character who just got shot? Is me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. I, uh... I guess so? But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So... Who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. I'm... I'm somebody who's searching for himself. But that's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like that, nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life vulnerable to this nation. Okay, so do you think, baby?
<laughs> oh, look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? See, I should try going down there. Aha! Uh -huh. What the hell? Look at this place. What in the world happened here? Hmm. I think I'm starting to remember. Uh huh? Something bad happened here. Oh no shit. And now, there's another death lying hidden here. What? Another death? Has to be that pigeon guy. Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say that there was a very important life, valuable to the nation, here? I thought you were talking about you. Hm. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. Hey, come to think of it, where is that old pigeon guy? Let's find out. Um, excuse me. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep so in work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? <sighs> There's only one crazy character in the white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things. But, never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Pretending like he didn't blow, just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Pitiful. Ouch. That hurts. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? Well, we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. But let's do that. How many times do I have to tell you, Inspect Professor? This place is dangerous. <sighs> Don't be daft. I can't leave now. He's completely dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it... He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect. It's a spirit. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh?
You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So it's really true. Y you're... I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. I control everything. This shell. People. Just like I control the Justice Minister and Lin. <sighs> so it's true. You were manipulating my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create clues? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Zhao did. Now then, Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. This time, this thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Cupid won't turn around this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. <gasps> Professor, look out! Dynamite, eh? Finn's never since he put sets there. He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him. Having his corpse disappear. His corpse... Disappeared? That medical examiner. Remember him? He was a complete another imposter. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab, but he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him back, to give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw Sousa plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining the body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before Zahn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course. How do I save you two? But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true... How could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? No time for thinking now, baby. Action is the name of the game. Work your magic and take us back, even further into the past. to do yeah, okay we've seen this
Let's see. As you perhaps have already noticed, time is running out, baby. Yeah, no perhaps about it. I know. What do you know? The whole and the whole lot of things I can use my ghost tricks on in here. It looks like it's all over. Unless I find another path, I'm sort of at a deadlock here. Sizzle. Hey. I know that voice. Help me. Where are you? Find me. Before I'm carried away. Hmm? What's with the frail sounding call for help? He's here somewhere. A friend of yours? Yup. A little guy that looks a little fragile but has strength that'll surprise you. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? <gasps> Sissel! Here I am! Oh, hey! It's. Missile! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you. Okay, here I am, Sizzle. No, maybe things are flowing in a new direction. Even though the floor of the sewer is a little bit stinky. Let's see. Maybe with that. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Sizzle! My animal instincts are starting to surface! If you mean you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. There must be some kind of rat face in that trash can. So things usually make a bit of a commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Maybe. Yeah! Oh, look at all those rats! Now that's what I call some proper commotion. So making that trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel a bit like dancing my now myself. It's getting harder and harder to hold my to hold my wild instincts in. What a dangerous bunch! Aha! Yeah! Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, you should go there. Aha! Look out! Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector... <sighs> I have a little job for you. I... I can't move. I think I have... Four or five broken bones. 
I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it a hood a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. <clears throat> D Damn you! Now that was a close call. I can't believe it! You lots actually pulled it off! Sorry, ins sorry Inspector Capanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, a poor broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed this show. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, I accept. Sounds like a normal magic trick. I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. So that's one life save. Hmm. That's the answer. You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you aren't. I was remembering the fact right that right about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fry. Oh, that phone call? Yeah. He was pretty upset. Um Excuse me, mister. Huh? You really shouldn't be mean like that. And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Or, he would be if he actually was still full of life. Camilla. Gods in heavens! What a terrible thing! That poor little girl, taken hostage! It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute. Miss Camilla is... a hostage? Yes. I'm oh, sorry, little warrior. M M Miss Camilla! A hostage? What's a hostage? <coughs> anyway, Inspector Cabanella, it's time to save your life now. But you couldn't get that very far when you tried that before, am I right? But this time, it's different. Right, Sizzle? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the Inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids. You're making me feel like an afterthought. Yeah. Alright. Let's get this started. Inspector Cabanella is upstairs. So our first step is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you. Okay, lovely dove. We need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has it has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Aha! Come on. There we go. There you are, Sizzle. Sorry for the wait, Missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? <sighs> there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, He'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yep. Same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and then save Cabanello without him noticing. <sighs> Ooh, it's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sizzle. Don't forget. Whenever you want to use my powers, just tap the right trigger. Hmm, I need to get up there. Oh yeah, right. I have to wait for the kettle to fall.
There we go. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, he has power, so I want to make sure if I move stuff, he's not looking. So he could do something about that. Oh! Did you see that? That bad sizzle turned around! Do you have to call him that? But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. This is the only time he takes his eyes off me too. If you have something to do, do it now. Time to make the first steps towards saving the inspector. What was that? That's the kind of guy you are. I've got nothing to say to you. You never listen anyway. Of course. Yeah. So, Sissel, could you explain something to me? Exactly, how did the man in white die? He got shot with a gun. Gun, huh? I've always wondered about those things. How come people die when they hear that loud bang? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, um, hmm. Why do they? I don't remember. Oh, brother. I hope I never lose my memory. Mr. White called here died because he got shot with a bullet. Bullet? A little lump of metal. It proves fatal when it gets lodged in his head. Aha! I get it! It's like a tiny little tiny Mino, right? Yeah, um, something like that, I guess. Different shape, though. In that case, I don't be able to use my powers on it to save the man in white. Hey, good news. Hey, white coat. Can anybody here just call me Cabanella? Hmm. Okay, let me move. Let me move that out of the way. And then from here. Aha! Yeah, jiggle that. I don't have a lot of time, but if I can make this work. Let me see. No. Aha! Swap. Hmm. Let's see. Wow! Would you look at that? Right on the hook! I love knit hats. So warm. And most of all, soft. Hey, now since I'm looking at it, that tap is the same shape as the helmet you just knocked down. Aha! I thought so. Okay, so you go there. Wait for it. Wait for the bullet. This was another condition of my deal. 
to wipe out everybody who knew about Temsik. She's going to shoot! It's too late! Again? I'm gonna get shot again? No, wait. Our chance is coming up. The last split second, right? Leave it to me. Well, would you look at that? The bullets are sinking in midair, between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance. I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. Uh, what? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something in here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. Yeah, this hat. I don't think he noticed. Looks like he pulled off another magic disappearing act. <laughs> and now I say again, I love knit hats. So warm, and most of all, so soft. Did I... did I do all right? Seuss is a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too, over and over. Yeah! No dying this time. Good. What I saw in such just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. Our research these past 10 years pairs in comparison, right, Professor? So, you two were working together, huh? That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back. Back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Camilla. You're right, Miss... And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now, a new story is about to unfold, in a new present. How are you feeling, you cray old crazy character? Ugh. Hey there, Prof. We're both alive, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But, I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be, a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm going to believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Let's just pray the boys came through for us. Damn it! You pick a bad time not to listen to me, buddy of mine! Well, it looks like both of their deaths were erased. Unfortunately, in the case of the Inspector and White, I can't call it a complete success. But in any case, these two have the information I need to start tracking the manipulator. I'd better talk to them. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way, I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Hm. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true, I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, sorry. I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling... so... hopeless. He was right there within my grasp. All the plants were resting on tonight. And then... This... Had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. 
It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. <laughs> He's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage, and he found up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? I was murdered. By all of you. Detective Jowd, who forced me into a corner. Lin, the girl who was playing in the park. And finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Mm. Yes. Ten years ago, on that day, the special investigation unit was working on a big case. We hold in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. What do you find these games? Why am I just not looking while you're looking? Um, I don't know. I just hear about them through like streams and the internet. Sometimes Steam. Never seen this game ever. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fun game. You should check it out when you get the chance. <sighs> Detective, I'm telling you. I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the special investigation unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But... but... I... I just been assigned to the special investigation unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me, yet. And I wanted to impress him. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. And that was my first mistake. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanella, got a minute? The chief wants to see you about your report. Got it? Got it. I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. Duh. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun pointed at Lin in the first place. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communication networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. Hmm. I don't know if that command doubles up. Interesting. Anyway. He said he wanted them to buy him. Him and his powers. Actually, yeah, let's give exact time. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave him two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock broadcast. And a case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. Hmm. Those two inmates at the special prison, eh? 
We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. That restaurant. The chicken kitchen. Yeah, the chicken kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. Uh, a submarine? But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right. Highly unlikely they use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Camilla. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. This spotless record of yours. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. Than your life, eh? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands and all into as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the Manipulator Case. Oh! The Manipulator Case? That's why you killed so much- That's why you cared about your record so much? <laughs> of course. Why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Joe. Shooting Elmer. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely more to this story than some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five young it took five long years though. The manipulator. He is going to prove that Jowd is innocent. Ugh. What incredible determination! That's something about that. There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help detect the child, why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. Oh. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, eh? But there's one little unfortunate result of all this. Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. <laughs> What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around and give it time. But there are a lot more important things to do with our time tonight. Let's talk to the old man. The pigeon guy. Mr. Superintendent. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. I investigated victims' cause of death. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the report that's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But they never fired an autopsy report. That's because... That's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. An, un an unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity too. That's the only way I can describe it too. It was an unusual corpse. 
He was dead, all right. No question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Not a scratch. But I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered. Steam gave it a 10 out of 10, must be that good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a good game. I was completely bewildered. But when I tried to up-sub him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. Couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in. But I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. And that's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. Then I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there is one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? He just walked on out, imagine. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he just got up, opened his door, and fucked out on its own! <laughs> uh, okay, wow. I didn't expect that. <laughs> what? He was dead, but... He wasn't dead. We saw it of our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion killed him. And he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on the stove. The corpse left behind some data from some testing I did. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming out of that body. Radiation? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Could it be? That's right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment. I went to that park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell, and, just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought he was being some kind of, he was some kind of a mortal being. He would die, only to come back to life. I wanted to research the depth. So I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you want to see me blush? It was... It's about a year ago, I'd say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. Oh! I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Zemsik. Is that you, baby? Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? I was investigating a manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who quit the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. At the time, we were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. 
We didn't know who he was yet, but we knew he was coming and communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case in Tempsik was somehow connected. Fitch also explains how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. That makes sense, okay. So that contraption in the basement here. You built that to try and help detect the child. That's right. Shout and I worked together back when I was with the Force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce, no matter how hard I tried. Kamira told Zhao they did have something it shouldn't have, it made an impossible move. I used that part of the device I recreated. I put in a card that were allowed the cupid to rotate. Otherwise, the gun wouldn't fire. So that must mean somebody manipulated Camilla's contra contraption. As a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Inspector Cabanella! Hey, baby. <laughs> Charming as always he is. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Drink some water. Inspector Cabanella. I'm sorry. I just heard. You were chasing after that man all the time to try and help detect a child. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So, that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw him in the slammer. Yikes. He really does say that. Tonight. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. <laughs> but a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Joan! The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let the chick to Joan go free into tomorrow morning too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. And there you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around and then you swoop in at the last second. Shout. Five years ago. You left this cold with me, just before you turn yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. And that day is today. <laughs> I've been waiting so long, Detective Child. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. Okay. I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. This present you gave me. It's just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Now go save the day.
Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is, and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do? Please? Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self we're looking for. You're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. Alright, I'm leaving Inspector Cabanella. It's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from the truth. From knowing who I am, me, who I am than ever. But now, I don't feel so alone. Each one of us for his own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we could shed light on the mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Alright, well that was chapter 15. Let's see next. Chapter 16. 4.19 a.m. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Alright, where are we going? Hello? This is Jowd. Sissel. Are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Control room. Well, so you'd better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. At the other end of the phone line, I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I'd better go. A single telephone line connects me and the other sizzle. But that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. Welcome to the Unoa. Detective Child. Oh. My detective stance must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Gerald. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, God! Never thought you'd track us here! Especially seeing as you're a death row inmate! And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, eh? But how did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew whether you know I was going to surface, confound it. We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals.
The bullet, the bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. I have a little something for you. Cabanella had given me some pretty weird presents in the past, but they always proved useful. And this one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes. Inspector Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is that man in red? I know he's on this submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? Oh, he's there! <gasps> you can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His shell, eh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please, let her go. Ah. There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear... Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. <sighs> bargaining chip? Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer... The source of his powers. He snatched the meteorite. What? What in the world was that? The Tempsic Fragments. It gives spirits special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded. As far as we're concerned... What are you talking about? Tisk tisk. What a mistake to make. Right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Take the child. Where did he go? <clears throat> what now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I smell danger. I'd better find them. And fast. So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yes, I think I even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. I'm just a little shill sheltered apartment dog. What with what with my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff him out? Mm. I'm sorry to say I don't think it can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So, let's go find that lady detective and the little lady detective together. You got it! A phone! The telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camilla! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming at me! I think you call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet!
Aha! I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sissel, look! That black hello? It came off the hook! Uh oh, I better answer it. Fast! Uh, hello? Is anybody there? Oh, it's her. The little lady. It's Sissel. Where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh good, I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn, Lynn is... Oh, she said Li Lynn. Miss Lynn. We better hurry. Let's go, Sizzle. Oh no, she's drowning. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Miss... Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn! Yeah. She can't seem to catch a break. I was wondering the next time she was gonna die was. Sorry to keep you waiting, waiting little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come. Miss Camilla, Miss Camilla. And Missile too. I'm glad to see you're all right. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all right exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Bella has a core now, so that means she did heal Missile's voice before, when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born you little doggy. Hey, Missile, could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my powers? I'll see what I could do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who could protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it. Thank you, Missile. Oh, now I can take it down to her. Oh... Hmm. Aha! Oh, Sissel, you're here! Lin! Lin! What in the world happened here? I... I don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And what's Detective Jowd? Is he alright? I... I don't know. Huh? The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. After you left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. Ugh. We tracked him with the rat radio transmitter and Spectre Cabanella fired into him with a bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jowd and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. And then we sneaked onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine drove back down again. Detective Chad and I decided to split up. Oh hey Miss Friend, welcome to the show. He, he would take care of the telephone line and I would look for Camilla. I found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Wow. That's quite an adventure. What happened next? 
I... I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Oh boy. Sounds like it'll be quicker to see for myself. Camilla, are you okay? What the? Camilla? You got a piece? Hello, Lin. Who is the detective now? It's been 10 years since you last met. There's a lot of IDKing going on. Yep, a lot of mysteries. Are you... Are you really that man from the park 10 years ago? Well, well. I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back! She has nothing to do with any of this! Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. But, well... Knowing him, I have expected as much. That's why I was waiting here, like this. Waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted? To be executed by his own daughter? I heard about 10 years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge? Nobody could possibly know. What I've... What in the world? An explosion? Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out! Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Child. As Camilla. When he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring it back to life. Again. Hopefully for the last time. You didn't have to add the again part. Hmm. So let's see. The cause of this time was that mysterious explosion. And then they woke up. What happened here? I don't know. <laughs> You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. What do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop an explosion. Alright, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. Or... Not yet. Yeah, I gotta touch that gun, I know that. I just need to... Come on, come on. Maybe... Yeah, the phone's ringing. It's not for me. 
Nobody ever calls the dead. Aha! Hmm. Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed? Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry. Now's your chance to get on the phone. It might be Detective Jowd. Oh, she's right. I'd better check it out. Hello? Anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. Speak up! Why don't you answer? Anyway, uh, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Hmm. Let's go there. So it must be true what they say. There are restless ghosts on board. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. What is he calling restless ghost? Well, it's true neither one of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like this sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess that means the fate of this sub has changed slightly. Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? It's Detective Jowd! What's going on here? I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his temp seat fragment taken away. Aha. I think he needs to get onto that capsule, so let's see. Hey, wait for it. Actually, wait, I can just do this. Get here, to there, to here. Yes. Ah, the Tempsic Fragment. You're mine at last. The objective has been achieved. Now we detach the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. Sissel, uh, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lin. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. The main thing now is rescuing you and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The Yonoa will be his coffin. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sizzle. Not on.
on my watch. Oh, well, no, there they go. Aha! So that's the cause of the giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo! It's like... Well, you heard of a missile before, have you? Yep, sure. What a different missile will come more readily to mind. It looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something before that torpedo is fired. I have an idea. Aha! There's no time. It's gonna launch. Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it. What? How? Even the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope. Why was that? I hope then the strongest part of that sentence. I hope. Okay, here it goes. What the hell? <gasps> it's a red. I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. Oh, well, is this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How in the world did it get there? In here. Hmm. Hmm. This looks like just the thing. If you clamp this thing on a fuse, it should keep it from moving. Uh, so... What does that mean exactly? It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details. But I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that... It looks like we have to get something out of the way first. I think these outside parts are supposed to be a waste of some kind. The spinning black things, right? Apparently the spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. Okay, stop those. It's a stubborn little thing, isn't it? Hm. Quite a worthy adversary. You do know the rat is in the main focus here, do you? Okay, true. But until it's out of the way, we can't set the safety device. Hmm. You're right. If only our missile was here right now. We have to get this creature to leave somehow. But how? This is probably the detonator. Hey, don't press it, the torpedo will explode! Uh-oh, better be careful. But you know, there should be a safety device around here somewhere. A safety device, huh? That sounds promising. We have to put the bar, the safety on before this thing blows up. Uh, which one's the safety?
Aha! Great. We dumped a little creature off. Wow, those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty nice, wasn't it, uh, Phelan? Perhaps something to do with the striker? I suppose. Right. So now... There. We clamped the safety device on. We did it! That should keep this torpedo from exploding. But there's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, at least it didn't explode. What was that noise? It looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats. Sissel, we did it! Hmm. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up. But we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm. You're right. I guess. I guess that's what, that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Uh huh. Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we gotta back to get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right. I'm worried about Camilla. We managed to stop there for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh oh. Water is seeping through the hole where the torpedo hit. I've gotta get them out of here. I better go meet up with Lin. Each of these three machines is equipped with a fan. Now that I take a closer look, it appears there are two sizes of fans. Hmm. Aha! The lights went out, but this machine apparently still works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. But maybe I could use its movements to help me create a path. Like that. And then this. Than that. Then, Camilla, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Oh, don't worry about that. That wasn't you, Miss Camilla. Oh, Missile, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camilla. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. I'm so happy everybody's going to be with me now. C 
Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do. Aw, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as that case may be. I'd better send a signal to Lin that I'm here. Before it's too late. Like, for instance... Oh, look at that flashlight! It's Sizzle! He's here! Up you go! I'm glad you're here, Sizzle. Sorry for the wait. It looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. We'd better get out that door as quick as we can. We won't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? I think of it as the force of the water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. Like that ladder. Hey, look at that ladder. I wonder if we can get it down somehow. Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way... Yes? I can't swim. <laughs> Neither can Camilla. Oh, great. Now you tell me. Don't you have any good news for me? Hmm. Let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? Oh, shit. Aha! There we go. You did it, Sizzle! Thanks! Eek! Uh-oh. That was close. What was that? It looks like water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Sizzle, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are bad or something. Hey, I know. You can fix it with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking two things too far. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's see what I could do. There we go. I did it. Oh, hey, great. Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cool question, considering the circumstances. Now, all we have to do... I guess get to that door and we're safe. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going... We're going backwards. Well, at least that way. Going down. What happened now? It looks like the submarine decided to reel up on its hind legs. I can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky, or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. Yeah, Camilla looks fine. Uh-oh. What now? The water sure is rising fast! Come on! 
You'll just have to go up. Up to the top. What if she had to step on the wrong side of the ladder? Yeah. Anyway, let's see how I could help with my ghost tricks. Hmm. Well, well. I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sissel, there you are. How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous this situation is, don't you? Of course. After all, just ask anybody who knows me... Who knows me how much I hate taking a bath. I don't think that's the right situation in this case, but Troy, go off. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself? <laughs> okay, ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course! fans. Pipes, huh? Okay, let's see. Maybe this one and this one. This one and that one. And then these two. about that. Wow, this is great! You made a staircase for me! You'd better hurry. I don't think that water is gonna wait for you. Aha, uh -huh, so it was good that I swapped that small fan out for that medium fan.
Hmm. You know... Uh, now that the steam is in the way, it's way too hot to get through. What? And there's no way to go around, either. Think you could do something? Of course we can! We have to. that look it looks great all that horrible steam is cleared out of the way okay it's not too far now try to move forward look up there if I could just make it to that door we can escape now, how in the world am I going to get up there? Don't yell at me. If you want to yell, you can yell at me. Missile. How can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? <laughs> uh, I think you just did. Let's look for something to pull Missile up with. Hmm. Something to whisk Missile up and glide her ever so gently to the top with. Hey, are you being sarcastic? Like, maybe... That hook! Alright! Now this is what I'm talking about! Okay, ways away! Uh oh! That's a lot of water! Oh, she's weak. Sorry, I can't do it. Open it. Hurry. Is that any way to ask for something? Fine. I'll do it. Ugh. It's no use. I can't budge it. It must be stuck. Oh no! No! This way! What the? Eek. What the hell? What just happened? I can't believe my eyes. Then the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to sink down. Down into the deep, deep sea. But I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up to find a single way of light. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. So that was chapter 16. Sweet. Chapter 17, 5, 10 a.m. The upended submarine continues to sink, slowly but surely. A long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. My head is filled with one giant question. 
What in the world is this thing? Yeet. It's a claw. I see you managed to survive, detective. H hey you're... Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. Oh, and you there. You're the ghost who's been saving Lin all evening, aren't you? Uh, you, you knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it at all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. Hmm. I don't really know. Uh, please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Sissel, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are? That's right. I came all this way tonight, trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am too. What? The man in front of me is not me. I'm even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. They got us good. It's all over for this submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the HUD and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted now. The Tempsig Fragments. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean, they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah. That meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. <sighs> These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. And I think I've kind of got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparently there are individual differences in the powers we get. And it seems these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah. My powers have changed over these past 10 years. At first, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we all died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what it does? Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day, ten years ago, A 
fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart. And I died. So of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. Aren't the temp segments still right there in the park? At the bottom of the crater? You're right. So, that must mean... I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation too. Another effect the meteorite's radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death. But it's not all that clear. So the fact that I could return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite? One of the characteristics of that meteorite is the ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Oh, this is all so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as everything else. Yeah. Strange and confusing. That about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside of me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated by life and death. What? My body's vital functions stopped 10 years ago. But my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time... just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed. Not really alive. And not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me. Ever since that incident in the park, my body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pinchy guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut into this guy's body with a scalper. So, I guess, as soon as the decision was made, his body would have regenerated. Wow. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call out the execution at the last second. So that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know... They had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everybody who had to do with Tempsik. Detective Job was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanella and that junkyard super. They were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... I was one of their targets as well. So they stole my Tempsey fragment, and here I am. But they had one more final target. You, detective. <clears throat> Me? Hold on. If you weren't there in the park that day ten years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Uh, okay. 
But I was just a little kid playing in the park. <sighs> yeah. I know. Huh? Ten years later, and you become a detective. Looking into Jod's case. Tonight, I advise you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. took possession of you to make you shoot me. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. The aim was off. And the first shot missed the mark. But the second shot... The junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan, actually. They had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then... Something threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. Ah, oh, that's right. I was supposed to meet up with them after that. But then something went wrong. What happened? My body... disappeared. Aha! Uh -huh. The inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back. No matter what. That inspector caused me no ultra end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I never even heard the attempt sick meteorite. Because you were looking into the job case. They thought you would find out about Temp 6 sooner or later. Hmm. We still need to get out of here, though. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush this submarine. Oh, no. There are no cores that link from here to the water's surface. I have an idea. We hook up the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. They are meant for the submarine to be my coffin. They meant for the submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these past 10 years. You what? This feeling. Cut off from the world. All alone in a submarine. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Uh. Then? Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Oh, uh... If my dad... If my dad was here... I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla! 
I'm so sorry. Hmm. That's funny. What is it, Sizzle? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go all the trouble to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Tempsic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the seas? Hmm. That's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! Yes we do! This will tell us what the Tekken child is! That a present from the inspector in white! That's right! Tekken child told me to hold on to it for him! And the bullet is still in this person's body... ...in the command room, right? Then we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this! But what? Even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. Of our powers, of foul powers. Right, Miss Lin? Right! Oh, and wait a minute. What about a torpedo? A torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up now. Hmm. It looks like Detective Jout is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Okay. Hmm. Aha! Why is this machine shoving grips at me? Well, this looks like the private cabin at the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding grapes when he lies in bed. Oh, it sounds heavenly! I've been thinking about this for a while now. But don't you think that country's use of technology is just a bit... off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, looks like the ambulance machine is a bit busted. Yeah, the torpedo room. The torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're gonna use a missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. We don't want to blow the tick out up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. It looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. I went to the coordinates of the command room and into the torpedo. Let's see. And I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck! <sighs> what will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us. And our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strike missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it! Ugh, but this switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken? But I don't think the entire device is broken, though. It'll probably work just fine if I only, only I can move this switch. Just have to find a way to move it somehow. I can't do it with my powers alone. I know what to do. Let's give it a try. There we go! And there we go! The torpedo looks serviceable. I'll sit on this end too. But 
something's odd. What is? The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what's happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right, okay, hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head towards the command room where Detective Zhao is. 12 seconds after launch, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window to opportunity to jump over the command room. To the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Okay, come on, missile. Mm. Missile? I... I'm sorry. I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lin and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it! Missile? I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sizzle. Ugh. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lin... You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Sizzle, you might be able to make something happen. And that's our only hope. But... But what if that something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never ever. Even I can understand that. I... I couldn't stand that. <laughs> Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla! That's a good boy, Missile. Now, are you rem ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw this switch. We're ready. Sizzle? Uh, yes? I never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is, I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you. For everything. And I'm glad I met you too, detective. But we're gonna see each other again. Right, Sissy? Right, Missile? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you. No matter what happens. Here goes again. Here goes then. Good luck, friend. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lin and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light, of hope, reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Detective Gerald! I bet that big masked man did this! I'm gonna bite him! You better not. You might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and is sinking. So I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Let's talk to De Detective Gerald! Sorry for the wait, Detective Gerald. <gasps> Who are you? Are you... Sizzle? Please excuse my appearance. I 
I can't believe you made it here. How is Camilla? And what about Lynn? Well, it's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jout about everything that happened on the submarine Yonoa. So the submarine is badly damaged? Why would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You? You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Are you... Yomio? So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yomio? That's right. Well, those people on the Yonoa were calling you... Sizzle. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure. Go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we could still tell you. Right, Detective Jowd? <laughs> right. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know. Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog. Because you're a dog. But it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped to joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret division. I didn't get that shit. I can't go back. Oh well. The goal was to build a new system using multi-dimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent for the government. Of the government. Yep, it doesn't sound like something a top primary would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you could imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I've ever had to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then, one day, the name of a certain program emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then... That incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months. <laughs> About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yumio. Ten years ago. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I 
wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lin described is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's... And so that's why you murdered Alba. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you killed about. I want you to feel the same pain I felt. What? Mm. It was a twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. Okay, so what was it? There's something I just don't understand about the deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but... What would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die, surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked for them, boy. A completely man-made life. And that's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask a national government to help me. And their response, in the end, was betrayal. They were making the moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And... They even figured out what Tempsick was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all this. None at all. I was a fool. So then. Why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Tempsick meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incident, research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By Inspector Cabanel and the old preaching guy, eh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then, they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. Oh, that's a relief. The park is... The park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Tempsick meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy the park in order to secure the Tempsick meteorite. So that's it, eh? Yeah. So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Jowd back to life, of course. <clears throat> what? What good would that do now? But we promised. We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Jowl. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. 
I won't give up now. Alright. Fine. Let's see where it leads us. <laughs> Here we go then. I'm back to four minutes before your death. So, where are we headed? We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We will run out soon, and that will be our destination, Detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too! By the way, I am not human, Detective. I am a remote controlled robot detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just playing off. We get that a lot, detective. I could tell. Why would you go to all this trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sif likes to. Provide any poss- again- Likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There is no need for you to know, Detective. Now die. Now it is the time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. <sighs> Camilla. Forgive me. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what the big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility? In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning this situation around. Hmm. Huh? What is it, Detective? Look at Yomiya's shell. Oh. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Tempsey Fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Let's see. Yeah. I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they're afraid of. What is it? My time must perpetually stop, thanks to the power of Tempsic. His body cycle between the moments that separate his life and death. Right. But not anymore. The Tempsic fragment has been taken away. Exactly. So what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Tempsic Fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see. That means... We can go back? Back to... Four minutes before your death? But... Wait a minute. Exactly when is that death? That simple. We'll find out. But we get there. Let's move. I fell back through the cracks of time for whatever seemed for what seemed like forever. And then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long knife. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. Yeah, that was chapter 17, which means the final chapter 
this is it. It's time to finish this game. When was Yomiya's death? It was 10 years ago, when the Tempsig meteorite fell. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. Four minutes before death at Tempsig Park. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up. Do you really think you can run out? Do you really think you can outrun me? Now, now just calm down and drop that weapon. St stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Kidding! Shoot! You might get hurt! It's the meteorite! Huh? Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? You... You saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods... They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Where'd that cat go? So that's the Tempsic meteorite, eh? It's... beautiful. Looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Tempsic from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. <clears throat> I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Child? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. We, not, we might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. Huh? What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, the fact would never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that world, be a new future. Will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have to wait. She was a... I see. A sweet potato? Okay, let's see. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt poor Miss Lin's ears! I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed. 
albeit ever so slightly. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah, I see. there oh look at that sweet potato that big scary sweet potato that's not a sweet potato missile that's Mino oh all right of course hey wait a minute but look at them the potato and Mino right now they both have the same shape So you're saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, Missile. Okay, here I go, and I'm going to need your help. My help? Of course. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh, look! That lamppost is be bending. But it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It just might hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Tempsic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way... Then fate should change. Yeah. Uh, no. It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, missile. I think we're ready for that. Look what's right in the fragment's path. Oh, okay. That giant sweet potato. If anything can get in the way, that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, now that the fragment's paths... Now the fragment's path ought to change. like there's anything I could do yet. Let's just wait to see what happens. Okay, so meteorite hits. There! How's that? Look! The fragment's course! It changed a little! Now your maze fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at that fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? What's in its path? In its path? It no! Detective Child! Uh, 
Detective Joe! The Temp 6 family shot through his leg! What? But the cool twist of fate won't over yet. Yeah. Come on, put it down. Huh? John, put the gun down. Now! If you don't, you're going to shoot him. I don't know if it's detective training or what. But even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen. Missile. Would have stopped in midair. I'm here, inside the bullet. Now let's swap it with something. Uh, <laughs> what? With what? It took the job. The midway fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. Eh. <sighs> We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Uh, uh, um... That. Oh, shit. <laughs> he still got stabbed. Oh, no. Oh, no. We stopped the bullet. But we still couldn't save him. That's not true. Huh? My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed. But I'm still alive. <gasps> what? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate of death has changed. But still. This fate is just too painful to watch. In every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The Wheel of Fate was still slowly turning. Ah! Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Damn it! My leg won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lin! It's not over yet! But there's any- there isn't anything else we could swap with! Why don't we just let it play out and try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse. And then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. As many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death will be erased. But a memory of it will remain, like Scar in her psyche. <sighs> I won't let that happen. Not if I could help it. But what can we do now? Even if we work together... Hmm... I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Sissel and I do? Don't forget. I'm here too. Uh, three kinds of powers among us? We gotta be able to fight this battle. The battle against the fate of death. Yomiya! Sizzle, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this! Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. <sighs> Alright then. I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, Make it spray as if your death depended on it. That works. Give it your all. And remember, you only have a split second. Now do it. Got it. Now it's your turn, missile. What? Um, me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay. Got it. You can swap them. That hunk of concrete would go back to its original position. But even if I swap them, it'll still be right above Miss Lin. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. Eh. It 
It's no use! We can't stop that horrible Mino! What can we do now? I don't see how getting a second or two helped. Oh, it helped alright. Those few seconds were exactly what I needed. Like, what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Uh, your turn. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Uh, wait a minute. You mean... That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Ah. Ye gods. That was a big save. Well done. A lot of coordination. Ah, you're right. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Huh? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit. But the main thing is that you're not hurt. You saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods. They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Do you think you can go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. But... What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who's, who've been very brave. A uh, detective's badge? Thanks. Okay. You know what to do, little detective. Yeah, sadly. Oh, I crushed his legs, but still. Hang on. Help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see, but, you know, I'm glad it happened. Hey, mister. I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. It doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor oh, little kitty. How about if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Well, it looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel! The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years. You're my one and only friend. 
How about it? Do you remember now? Old friend? Oh! I'm a cat? I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak, and all alone in the world. Hold it! Somebody, please look at me. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Somebody, please reach a hand out to me. I had only just died at the time. I had lost everything. My life. My memory. My body wouldn't move anymore. But I still managed to reach out a hand to him. The next thing I know, my soul had transferred to the Black Hidden. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you for a while. After a while, the man regained his memory. I went back to being just a cat. And then the man got his body back. I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, you Miel. The man named me Sizzle. It was the name of something important that he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man. There was nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness, with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first I could only manipulate small creatures and objects. But then, after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get twisted a little twisted. I wanted light. Disordered, distorted, artificial light. When I got my revenge on Lin, I wanted to see that light, or at least. That's what I tried to believe. I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. Oh, it's that cat from earlier. Mm -hmm. 
the black cat. I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't look very much like a murderer. The corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? I wasn't able to control her completely. The first bullet didn't hit anything. Or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sizzle. Inside the bag. Yes. That's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic Radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why was I the only one who couldn't get his memory back? It was because I thought the corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lin tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember that thing about individual differences in the powers we got? I get? I can control all kinds of live things, from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things that you can do that I can't. Uh, you mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Uh, not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. B but you're here ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. <sighs> The fate of your death? The kid and sister's fate? And I could just bet you, the fate of the woman you have loved has changed too. Yes. I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, eh? So, your Miel. It looks like you've planned for revenge and in failure. <sighs> yes. And I'm glad too. Huh? I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. She understood. She said cheers for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. Right. We should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lin and Miss Camilla again. So, these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. Huh? The memories of all of us here will remain. Including the memory of what I did. 
my crime. That's the way this game of death of the dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lin hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sizzle. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It'll be like we never met. So before that happens, I just want to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. <sighs> That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now. Right, Yomio? Thank you, Sizzle. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too. Yomiel. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. I'll just stick with that. Sizzle? Are we... ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sizzle, I'll... I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Such a good pupper. Well, it looks like you come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jowd. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now, we're each going back to our own new present. We said goodbye to the parts of the stories that would be lost. Believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Wait! I think I know who this is. Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. It's Ray! Before I cease to exist, Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray. in case you have forgotten again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I am really grateful to you, Sizzle. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know. Who exactly are you? Fair enough. I would tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. You changed the fates of many people tonight. The first of which was hers. That's one. I wonder, how did she not get hit by that? Was she like just out of the way of that? If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have, mo would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. A story of a little creature. After they stole her life that night, they broke into an apartment. They stole the wooden box in the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process, Oh no, they killed her. Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit left on. Desperately reached out to his paw towards his mistress. And that's when a miracle of cold occurred. What? Look at that! The powers of the dead! But how? 
he didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. He died inside the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little Phala chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red, in red, in a deep, deep sea. And then, he went back. He went back to the world of ten years before. It's the moment of the man in red's death. What? Oh yeah, because they still technically extracted the meteorite from his body. So he was also able to go back. He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these ten years to be retold. Oh. So that was you, huh? His little beard, his big beard. <sighs> That's right. I'm Missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fate of these people on your own. So you decided to wait these those ten years out. Exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old, and my powers were weak, so I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened. But I became able to manipulate small objects. B but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, from watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could, like travel for the telephone lines, for example. Uh, what? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But... There's... Something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all... We had met before. On that night, the first time around. We what? We met before. From listening to the conversation of the two intruders to the apartment, I had learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at that junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisted and swiftly desk lamp. It made my first stand on there, and I can tell you. Th that was me. So I was shot in that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time too. You had just died, and you felt confused. You decided to cooperate with me. I did what? I 
I just wanted to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what she said. And then he disappeared. Away over the telephone line. Ugh. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set yourself to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. Th then you mean the thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. <laughs> well, now how's that for a dastardly trick? But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh, boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile? I believed in you. I always know you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile? So you waited and waited. These ten long years. Oh, for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course, because that's what doggies do. Now then, farewell, Sizzle. And so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what really happened in this town tonight. I made my way back, back to a new present. So, what is this new present, I wonder? Huh? How come it's dark? I'll just turn on the lights here. Oh! Were you surprised? You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. Yippee! It worked! But it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. That's alright, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Chow. Dad, you're home! <laughs> Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Camilla. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges too? Oh, this? Yeah, I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. 
how long are we going to keep owning that toy Bachelin? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. <laughs> that you will. That you will. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right. The very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. Uh, still a kitten? Yep. He never got any bigger or anything. Wow. What a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sizzle. Sizzle. Hmm. It seems to me I've heard that name someone before. I think Sizzle likes you, Lin. Alright everyone, let's start the celebration! Okay, Mom! I bet you're just like me. Your destiny lets you here somehow too. Uh, meow. <laughs> and so we meet again, Sizzle. From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into the world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now, this is my new fate. I guess I really am a cat. It should be just fine to curl up and watch. Watch that strange and beautiful patterns on their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Oh, but what's missile though? Hey! Happy birthday to our lovely Lin. Um, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. My birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. Look at not Phoenix Wright busting a move. There! How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I could be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example was the inspector providing for his men? Here's your food, gentlemen. <laughs> Mimi, what are you doing here? I heard you were going to be picking new members for the special investigation unit today. So you took on a part-time job here again, just so you could eavesdrop? Oh, you have no idea the links I go to reach my girls. That's still bugged, holy shit. Okay. Nice to know some things don't change.
Uh, I've never cooked this way before. So exciting, so exciting. Tumelic, polenta, cumin, and fenugreek. Go to chicken paradise. Uh, is this really necessary to introduce this new curry chicken menu item? Oh, but a very best customer requested it. Now good luck with the taste testing. Wahoo! Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? <laughs> hey, it's him! It's Sasha's head. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute. 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams. Ooh, such a set has a lot of money now. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all you can give me? You must have heard some juicy stories. The indiscretions of a minister, perhaps? No, no, must you talk that way in front of a darling angel? You are the stodgy mind of my darling husband. The deals are going quite well. Oh, I must say, these crepes are quite good, my man. The know is about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be forewarned, sir. Egad! Keep it together, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I nearly died of fright just now. No, he was still. He's probably still going to die anyway. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Stop the park from charging admission. Protect the rights of those who live here. Oh great, now they're gonna charge money to go into a park? What's the point? This day, you know, he's finally getting out. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Then let me show you. A dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomachache. We call it dancing away the pain. Oh, I'm really interested in that one. Think you can show it to me, say, next week? You got it. Oh no, Yomios is the artist. Turn long yours, Yomiel. Your time's up. The young lady who always comes to visit you is winning outside.
Thank you, Sizzle. I wonder what he was painting. Oh! It's Sizzle. Oh, this is cute. Hey, a donut. And a rat. I wonder what she's reading. Ghost advisor. Cool and good. Oh, I can do chart to select. That's good. In case I wanted to go back and do some of the achievements I missed. But yeah, with that, that's it for Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Overall, oh, that was such a good game. I actually had a lot of fun with it, and I got really into the story, which is actually pretty surprising. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get so involved in the story, but it's really good. Yeah, this remaster is pretty cool, too. I like the new music. I kind of wished that um, Capcom was able to get it out of the 4x3 hell, like they did with like the Ace Attorney trilogy. But it's still, it's still a... Pretty good remastered. Remastered of a DS game. Yeah. And for 30 bucks, um, that's actually not bad. It's a pretty good price for this game. So yeah, I definitely recommend you check out Ghost Trick Phantom Detective when you can. But with that said, yeah, that's it for Ghost Trick. That's another game successfully finished on stream, so way to go me. So yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. This VOD will be uploaded to my personal YouTube channel where you can check out all my other VODs. Oh, and you should subscribe to my main channel, The Funny Crew. I've got a couple more things that'll mean some buddies of mine. Oh, and enjoy my Discord. It's pretty epic. But yeah. In any case, though, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.